dear students please note down these notes have been uploaded in the description of video please download your notes dear students in this lecture i will clear secondary growth in pine stem in our last lecture we have discussed primary structure of pine stem this a diagram it represents primary structure of pine stem note down diagram b shows in vascular bundles there is a strip of cambium there is a strip of meristematic tissue the dividing tissue and that cambium which is present in vascular bundles it is intrafascicular cambium no down in case of pine stem there is a cambium which is already exist in vascular bundles and this cambium which is present in vascular bundles it is intrafascicular cambium no down between these vascular bundles a strip of parenchymatous tissue is there and that parenchymatous strip it is primary medullary ray in this primary medullary ray some parenchymatous cells become meristematic just opposite to this intrafascicular cambium as a result in this primary medullary ray a cambium develops that is interfascicular cambium no down in this c diagram it is very clear one cambium is present in vascular bundle it is intrafascicular cambium dear students and second type of cambium which develops in this medullary ray it is interfascicular cambium both intra and this interfascicular cambium which fuse to produce a ring and that ring it is vascular cambium ring the students note down in case of pine stem two cambium rings develop one cambium ring appears in vascular bundles and this vascular cambium ring it develops due to fusion of this intrafascicular cambium and this interfascicular cambium intrafascicular cambium already exist in vascular bundles and this interfascicular cambium develops between the primary medullary ray some parenchymatous cells of this medullary ray become meristematic and they produce interfascicular cambium this inter plus intra which fuse to produce a complete vascular cambium ring now down this vascular cambium ring here in diagram number d this interfascicular cambium plus intrafascicular cambium they produce a vascular cambium ring this one is this this is vascular cambium ring it gives secondary xylem towards center and secondary phloem towards periphery due to the excessive growth of this secondary phloem this primary phloem gets crest and dear students in this secondary xylem which represents wood that wood constitute autumn and spring wood and both autumn and spring wood produce a growth ring or it is annual ring dear students note down in this secondary xylem these are annual or these are growth rings and these growth rings may be studied by an instrument that is increment borer and the study of these annual growth rings that gives age of particular part means we can study the age of this particular part or stem or pinus by counting these annual or growth rings as well as in case of pinus the cortical in this ground substance in this cortex another cambium ring appears and this cambium which develops in this cortex it is 
it is core cambium or it is phallogen no down this core cambium or phallogen it gives dead thick walled cells in outer region in periphery they produce core core phallum and this core cambium ring it gives secondary cortex towards inner side that is phallogen all this core cambium it is phallogen this cork which is phallum and this secondary cortex it is phalloderm collectively constitute periderm this cork this outer duct tissue that checks excessive loss of water this is all about secondary growth in case of pine stem dear students note down secondary growth it develops due to development of two types of cambium rings one type of cambium ring develops in vascular tissue it is vascular cambium ring and due to development of this vascular cambium ring secondary phloem develops in outer region and this secondary xylem that develops towards center while in this ground substance in this cortex a core cambium ring appears towards outer region of cortex this core cambium ring it is phallogen that gives cork phallum in outer side and towards inner side this core cambium phallogen it gives secondary cortex or it is phalloderm this phalloderm this core cambium phallogen and this cork phallum collectively constitute periderm this is all about secondary growth in pinus stem